Just a quick reminder before we get into the lesson to download the hands-on lab exercises that accompany this complete CCNA course. I'll include the link in the description. Also remember to subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss any of the lessons in the course. Okay, let's get into it. In this lecture, you'll learn about DTP, the Dynamic Trunking Protocol. If two Cisco switches are cabled together, it's possible for them to automatically negotiate a trunk connection on those ports they're connected with using Cisco's proprietary DTP Dynamic Trunking Protocol. It is, however, recommended not to use this to manually configure the switch ports instead, using the commands that we've been using earlier in this section. So if you want to configure a port as a, an access port, you use switch port mode access. If you want to configure it as a trunk port, you use switch port mode trunk. But if you are going to use DTP, these are the available commands. First one is switch port mode dynamic auto. So this is configured under the interface. That will form a trunk if the neighbor switch port that this port is connected to is set to trunk or desirable. Trunk will not be formed if both sides are set to auto. And this is the default on newer switches. So with newer switches, the default configuration is switch port mode dynamic auto. When you connect them into each other, it's set to auto on both sides, so they will not form a trunk. It will stay as an access port. The next option you've got is switch port mode dynamic desirable. That will form a trunk if the neighbor switch, the connection on the other side, is set to trunk, to desirable, or to auto. And this is the default on older switches. So with older switches, when you plug them into each other, they're set to dynamic desirable on both sides, so they will form a trunk by default. And the last option is switch port no negotiate, and that disables DTP. So your different options for the switch port mode, you can set it to switch port mode access, or trunk, or dynamic auto, or dynamic desirable. But recommended is, like I said earlier, use either switch port mode access where your end hosts are plugged in, switch port mode trunk where you've got another switch plugged in. Okay, so that's it, pretty simple. Let's have a look at this in the lab. The same topology again. I've got my three switches and right now I haven't configured anything at all in the lab. So if I go on to switch one, these are all modern switches. If I do a show interface gig zero slash one that's connected to switch two, switch port, you can see that the default is dynamic auto. And this is currently an access port because if I also look at switch two on the other side, I do a show interface gig zero slash one switch port over here, it's also set to dynamic auto. So it doesn't form a trunk, it stays as an access port. And the connection from switch two to switch three is obviously the same because everything is just brand new out of the box here. So if I did want to use DTP to form a trunk here, what I could do is while I'm on switch two, I could go to the interface. So I'll go to global config and then interface gig zero slash one and I'll say switch port mode dynamic desirable and if the other side is set to either dynamic desirable or auto or trunk it will form a trunk and you already saw that the other side is set to auto so you see when i do this it resets the interface and if i do a show interface gig o slash one switch port now this should have formed a trunk I can see that the administrative mode is now dynamic desirable, what I just manually set it to, and it has now formed a trunk. I'll just verify it by going on to switch one as well, onto the other side, and we'll see it reset the interface here as well, when I set it to dynamic desirable on the other side, and it should have negotiated the trunk. So if I do a show interface gig zero slash one switch port, and there you see it's still dynamic auto over here. I've left it at the default. 
but because the other side is dynamic desirable, it has formed a trunk. So that was DTP. Again, it's not recommended to use this. The recommended way to configure your trunks, I've put this into a text editor already to save me typing it all out. You've seen this config earlier in the section. So what I should have configured on my ports is I don't want to use the default native VLAN of one. It's a security issue. So I'm gonna say VLAN 199 and create my native VLAN. And then on my ports that are connected to another switch, I say switch port trunk ncap.1q in case that isn't the default already. Switch port mode trunk and switch port trunk native VLAN 199. Okay, so that was DTP. See you in the next lecture where we'll discuss VTP. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to get the complete course ad free right now, then you can enroll in my CCNA Gold Bootcamp by clicking the link above my head or in the description. It also includes full study notes, quizzes, and 150 pages of additional troubleshooting labs you can't find anywhere else.